Chelsea Gordon and I go to LG Bell High School and I'm committed to play basketball at Connecticut. What do you think makes you so successful? Um, my work ethic is very, it's very rare. I swear, I stay in the gym. Um, I get up a lot of shots. I work out with my trainer a lot and I just, I just like to be in the gym. I'm a, basically a gym rat. I like to be in the gym all the time as much as I can. Who is your trainer? Um, I have one trainer, Adrian Washington, and one trainer, Adrian Mercado, and they've helped me tremendously over the past couple of years. So, how long have you been seeing your trainer? Uh, about two, two or three years. Do you think you could get a scholarship? You think you could have gotten a scholarship without your trainer? Um, I don't know. I know. I feel like I have a worth ethic to be able to get a scholarship without trainers, but they help uh, add things to my craft and just kind of like help me develop my game more. So dribbling and shooting, they help me with shooting techniques and then um, they help me with just being comfortable with the ball. So without them, I wouldn't be as far as I am, but I think I could have made it without them. Like, it's not, they're not a deciding factor for a scholarship, but they've helped tremendously for me to get to where I am. What is your uh, supporting cast at home like? Oh, I have two parents that are Your we parents have, both play basketball, you said? Yes. Where did they play? They both played at TCU. Right. Yeah. So you didn't want to be a horn frog? Um, I love that program, but I felt like UConn would be the best for my development and to take me to the next level. So no no hard feelings with that program. That program is a great program, but I chose to go to Were you ever afraid that you would get a scholarship? Um, I got my first scholarship going into my sophomore year. Four years coming out of my freshman year. So at first, I knew I could get a scholarship because I feel like if I worked hard enough and uh, did everything that I needed to do, then I would be fine. So, uh, sorry, um, so uh, I really wasn't worried about it. I, it was from what division I wanted to be. If I wanted to stay at a lower division or if I wanted to be D1, I wanted to be the best of the best. That's what. That's really what I was worried about. I was trying to get myself better and get myself prepared for this. Do you uh, have an AAU team? Yes, I do. Um, I played with, this past season, I played with uh, Texas United. It's the EYBL, so we played on Nike Circuit. And then, before then, I played seven years with Texas City the League, which is a very good program. And they developed me. As, they developed me. My coach, coach Brandon, he helped me with everything that I know today, really. He taught me all the fundamentals of basketball. So, from transitioning, it was different. It was harder, but Nike Circuit was better for me for this year, so I could experience all the... Um, competition and just like it was we were on a big stage all summer. Oh man. Man, man, man. Got the homies on the booth. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Just to get the guap. I'm eating beats like beef and broccoli cause they hit the spot. All the people congregating cause they waiting on me. I'm so sorry they don't want basic replacements, homie. I'm so fly, I'm way up spaceships where I'm stationed, homie. And when I'm through with school, I'm taking no vacations, homie. Pass me the microphone, you know I gotta hold that. Go ahead and throw that. I go and cop a couple dollars, then you know I blow that. You already know that. <laughs> I'm like a futon, I love it when people sleep on me. See, I can see it, the peak is where I've been reaching, homie. You can tell the way I I speak it, I be preaching, homie. Girl, you know we need power. Hot 40 acres plus debt. Gonna move along, no question. Just pass the rock and we set. Woo. Uh, that's our brother's clock there, Toms. For them Benjis, for them Grants. Why some brothers stuck on dimes? We ain't never need no math. Get the what? I'ma keep it short and to the point, man. I've been in the lead, I should be your first choice. Yeah. You wanna lose? J Mac, you got the juice. Big us up at the school, and my music, my only proof. Skipping Spring Fest for a show, my hustle true. Party when I'm selling out venues, it ain't nothing. Got the pen with me, I'ma kill something. MCs, where you at? Where you at? I've been on this road trying to bring music back. Baby Jordan, way deeper than rap. I'm trying to tell you. J Mac. I would never flip just to get the guap, but we gon' grind until it's time to go and get the watch. <laughs>
First they hit you on the hotline, hotline. Then they talk about you on the news feed. news feed I go places that you can't go, can't go. And they don't mess with you cause you a goofy Wow First they hit you on the hotline, hotline. Then they talk about you on the news feed, news feed. I go places that you can't go, can't go. And they don't mess with you cause you a goofy Wow First they hit you on the hotline, hotline. Then they talk about you on the news feed, news feed. I go places that you can't go, can't go And they don't mess with you cause you a goofy Wow First they hit you on the hotline Before you committed, how many offers would you say you had? Um, I had offers from basically everywhere Just have a couple, maybe a couple of So it would be easier for you to tell me what schools you did have offers to? Uh, I didn't have offers from Notre Dame That's the only one I can think of right now So all your offers are Division 1 offers? Yes Amazing. Um, I'm Lexi Gordon. Who took that first? 